That's Emma breathing heavy, not me. <laughs> um, okay, so I am doing boundary lines. I said that in my last video. Uh, basically, you wanna try to keep a straight line of paint every so often. Uh, the thicker the woods, the closer they are, obviously. If it's spread out a little bit, you don't have to be quite as, uh, you don't have to hit every tree. Um, but you want it to be easy to follow. Um, if you have trees that are consecutive, it makes it easy. You come and you see right here, paint, 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 paint. When I look back, I don't know if you can see, um, hopefully you can see some orange on some trees back there. Every so often you'll find a tree does not have it on the front side of it. It's more of the side. That's typically because the trail, if it were straight, or the boundary line, if it were straight through there, um, it's pointing in the direction of it instead of saying, hey, I'm in line with it like this one. See, it's kind of to the side over there where I just was. It's face on. Um, so it just means if there had been a tree closer to the middle of this path, that's the one that would have had paint. Since there wasn't, uh, we paint the side of this one. And I walked right by it. I didn't see it because it was the side of the tree. Um, but I went back, painted it. I'm very serious about this job. 